Hey, good morning to both of you. A lot of the residents who lived at those two apartments affected by the fire lost everything. Now the community of San Marcos is coming together to help them somewhat rebuild their lives. One of the groups doing so are members of the First Baptist NBC Church. It started collecting clothes, toiletries, appliances, and even furniture to help the hundreds of people displaced. With the help of the Salvation Army and other local churches, they set up a donation site. Now the city is also hosting a resource center for all of those residents. More than a dozen organizations are on site to answer questions and give information to help them get back on their feet. Even those who don't live in this area drove down to San Marcos to lend a helping hand. I just saw the need and I knew when people lose everything, they have to start over with everything right down to toothbrushes. It was devastating um, being being a property manager in the area. Um, like my heart just goes out to those victims who were affected by this fire and even seeing some of the footages of and the stories of the children j jumping out of the second floor. And I just imagine like if that happened to my property, like how would I want people to respond if that happened to me as the property manager? And my heart just immediately just went out and I was like, we have to do something. We just can't sit and just not help. And that pastor says they will be collecting donations all the way through Saturday. Amanda, search and recovery efforts are over, but there are still five people missing. Now, those five people were all residents at Iconic Village. And although the five bodies have not been officially identified that were recovered at the apartment complex, some family and friends of the missing are coming to terms with the tragedy. One of the five people that's listed as unaccounted for since Friday is Drew Estes, who's from the San Antonio area. Now, we did speak with both his girlfriend and a pastor who's known him for most of his life. His girlfriend met 20 year old Drew while working at a restaurant last November. Eight months ago, they became a couple and had plans to get married. She tells us Drew was the man of her dreams and she's not sure she will ever get over his loss. She says she knew something was wrong last Friday morning. He always picks me up on the way to work and we were supposed to work together. And so I thought he was just oversleeping. And he was a beautiful person. That I had never known anybody else like him. Now the city is stepping up to help those displaced by the fire. It's opened a resource center at the San Marcos Activity Center. More than a dozen organizations are set up to help the victims pick up the pieces. That ranges anything from getting a new driver's license to finding a new place to live. Officials have confirmed that the apartment building did not have a sprinkler system. So Drew's girlfriend, her family is trying to push something and create a law called Drew's Law that would make it mandatory for every every apartment complex in Texas to have a sprinkler system. Lauren, a lot of the residents who lived at the two apartments affected by the fires pretty much lost everything. Now the community of San Marcos is coming together to help them and help start that process of rebuilding their lives. One of the groups doing so is the First Baptist NBC Church here in San Marcos. It started collecting clothes, toiletries, appliances, and even furniture to help the hundreds of people displaced. With the help of the Salvation Army and other local churches, they have also set up a donation site. The city is also hosting a resource center for all of those residents. More than a dozen organizations are on site to answer questions and give information to help get their lives back in order and back on their feet. Now, even though those who don't live in this area, they did drive quite a bit to get to San Marcos to lend a helping hand. Now that pastor says they will be collecting donations all the way until Saturday. Back to the studio. Good morning, Dave. Search and recovery efforts are over, and thankfully, no one else has been recovered here at the apartment complex. But five people are still missing, and those five residents did all live at Iconic Village. Although the five bodies found have not been officially identified, some family and friends of the missing are coming to terms with the tragedy. One of the five people that's listed as unaccounted for since Friday is Drew Estes, who's from the San Antonio area. 
area. We spoke with both his girlfriend and a pastor who has known him for most of his life. Kalina Reyes met 20 year old Drew while working at a restaurant last November. Eight months ago, they became a couple and did have plans to get married. Reyes says Drew was a man of her dreams and she's not sure how she will ever get over his loss. She says she knew something was wrong come last Friday morning. He always picks me up on the way to work and we were supposed to work together. And so I thought he was just oversleeping. He was a beautiful person and that I had never known anybody else like him. Definitely an emotional interview. Now the city is stepping up to help those displaced by the fire. It's opened a resource center at the San Marcos Activity Center. More than a dozen organizations are set up to help the victims pick up the pieces. That ranges from getting a driver's license to finding a new place to live. No word yet on what caused this fire, but officials did tell us the investigation could take several months. Back to you in the studio. Good morning, Dave. As we know, a lot of these displaced residents lived at both of those apartments affected by the fire. A lot of the community now here in San Marcos coming together and helping those who pretty much lost everything from the fire. One of the groups that is doing so is the First Baptist NBC Church. It started collecting clothes, toiletries, appliances, and even furniture to help the hundreds of people displaced. With the help of the Salvation Army and other local churches, they have set up a donation site. The city is also hosting a resource center for all of the residents. More than a dozen groups are on site to answer questions and give information to help them get back on their feet. Even those who don't live in this area did drive down to San Marcos to lend a helping hand. The pastor says that his church will be collecting donations through Saturday. The church is open from 8 to 11 this morning, then again from 12 until 6, both today and tomorrow. Back to the studio. Lauren, search and recovery efforts wrapped up yesterday, but like you mentioned, five bodies were recovered here at the scene of the apartment fire. You can still see that ATF is still here at the apartment complex. We're told that they will be here for several days because the investigation is expected to take a few months. Five people still missing, and they did all live at this apartment. Although the five bodies found have not been officially identified, some family and friends of the missing are coming to terms with this tragedy. One of the five people that list has been listed as unaccounted for is Drew Estes, who's from the San Antonio area. We spoke with both his girlfriend and a pastor who has known him for a good portion of his life. Kalita Reyes met 20-year-old Drew while working at a restaurant last November. They have became a couple about eight months months ago did have plans to get married. She says right now she's not sure if she'll ever get over his loss and she did kind of have a feeling something was wrong last Friday morning. He always picks me up on the way to work and we were supposed to work together and so I thought he was just oversleeping. And he was a beautiful person and that I had never known anybody else like him. Officials confirmed that the apartment building did not have a sprinkler system, so Reyes' family is now pushing to create Drew's Law, which would make it mandatory for all apartments in Texas to have a sprinkler system. The city is stepping up to help those displaced by the fire. It opened a resource center here in San Marcos. More than a dozen groups are set up to help victims pick up the pieces. They'll help them with things like getting a new driver's license and finding a new place to uh, live. No word yet on what caused this fire, but like I mentioned earlier, officials say this investigation could take several months. That's the latest here. Back to you in the studio.